Now, Abba kept crying in the, in the, in the tabernacle. Amen, amen. Amen. Our offering says in front of God. That's why yesterday's preacher said, There was somebody who was sick. And then the guy said, I'm not going to be able to die. I'm not going to be able to die. But there is a faith in it. And he told God, I know he wants to die. But remember, remember, I work for you. What are you going to remind God with? Israel, the, the, the first born of God. The day they had prepared to offer to God. Was it the day they were going to Pentecost? Many say the celebration of the Many say the celebration of the fifth day. Hiyo ilikuwa siku kuu ya kumtolea Bwana. Wengine waliita siku kuu ya walimaji. Lakini leo haiko tena siku kuu ya walimaji. Lakini nafua siku kuu ya Wakristo. Amen amen. Amen. Biblia inasema hivi. Bible says Wakati watu walikusanyika bape when people came together at the, the babel walitamani kujenga mnara ili waweze kutembea they wanted to build something they can reach to God na walipotamani kujenga mnara wa mfikie Mungu and when they wanted to build uh, the they can reach to God who has in their heart the heart of pride wakaendelea kuonekana kama vile wanaweza and they saw themselves that they had strength to do more than God ndipo Mungu akawaburuka that's when god came in between Mungu akachafua lugha yao then god came in the language watu walikuwa umoja people were all together in one and then there was a problem walisema lugha moja those who spoke one language kwa na lugha tofauti they spoke different language kwa warundi there was group kwa wabende there was wabende kwa wazungu there was kwa waafrika there was african maana kwa na itafua lugha because god came in between the language Amen amen. Amen. Kwa maana mpango wa Mungu, ifa the plan of God. Haikuwa mpango wa kupoteza mwanadamu. Kwa maana to to lose a one alienda siku. Adepokade. Alienda mpango, he prepared plan. Ili aweze kumrudisha yule mwanadamu. So can bring back ambaye amegawanyika. The 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 one has said. Ambaye alikuwa na lugha tofauti. Ili aweze kumfanya kuwa mmoja. He can make them in one. Ili aweze kusema lugha moja. Let's read and we'll continue. Amen. We will read in Acts. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4. Sura ya pili mstari wa kwanza hadi mstari wa 4 anasema hata alipokuwa amekutana nao aliwaagiza wasitoke Yerusalemu mbali wa ingote aadi ya baba ambayo tulisikia habari zake kwangu ya kwamba Yohana alibatiza kwa maji bali nyinyi mtabatizwa katika roho mtakatifu baada ya siku hizi chache sita basi walipokutanika wakamuuliza wakisema je wana wakati huo ndipo utawarudishia Israeli ufalme wao akawaambia si kazi yetu kujua nyakati wala majira baba aliyo yaweka katika mamlaka katika mamlaka yake mwenyewe lakini mtapokea nguvu akiisha kuwajilia juu yetu roho mtakatifu nani mtakuwa mashabiki wangu katika Yerusalemu na katika Uyahudi wote na Samaria 
hata mikisho hata mwisho wa inchi amen okay let's amen. read in english acts chapter 1 verse 48 and while staying with them he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father which he said you heard from me uh, from john from john the baptist with the water but you will be baptized with the holy spirit not many days from now so when they had come together they asked him lord will you at this time restore the kingdom of israel he said to them it is not for you to know time or season that the father has fixed by his own authority but you will receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem and in all judea and samaria and all the end of the earth amen amen Tusome na ile matendo mbili moja nne anasema hata ilipotimia siku ya Pentecoste walikuweko mahali pamoja wakingoja ghafla kutoka mbinguni uvumi kama uvumi wa upepo wa uvu ukienda kasi ukaijaza nyumba yote waliokuwa wameketi kuka kuka watokea deni zilizo gawanyikana kama ndimi za moto uliowakalia kila mmoja wao wote wakatazwa roho mtakatifu akaanza kusema kwa lugha nyingine kama roho aliyowazalia kutaka amen amen chapter 2 verse uh, 1 to 4 when the day of the pentecost arrived they were all together in one place and suddenly they came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind and they filled the entire house where they were seated and divided the tongues of fire appeared to them and, and rested on each one of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. Amen. I was talking about the, the, the history of Babel. Nimejaribu kuonesha jinsi gani Mungu ameweza kuagawa. I tried to show how God separated them. Nikajaribu kuonesha jinsi gani Bwana amechafua lugha yao. I tried to show them how God can between the languages. Halafu walipotonyika, when they separate, Biblia inasema, the Bible says, mahali walikwenda kila kabila ilikuwa na Mungu. Yes, when and every um, tribe that had their own God. Walimsahau yule Mungu ambaye aliwaunga. They forgot the reason that created them. Lakini kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa rehema. Kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa upendo. Alijaribu kumtafuta mwanadamu. Alafu Bwana kaiandaa siku. Eh ambaye ilipita kwa macho ya ulimwengu. Na hii inakuwa pita kati ya mwanadamu na Mungu. Kila mara mwanadamu anatamani kuchunga siri za Mungu. Amen amen. Amen. Alafu Bwana and the Lord alipoanda Pentecost when he uh, prepared Pentecost. Biblia inasema palikuwa na makabila tofauti. Said, oh, many kind of tribes. Watu yeah. waliongea lugha tofauti. Watu kutoka Roma, uh, Roma. watu kutoka Uturuki, sehemu mbalimbali. Wote walikusanyika siku ya Pentecost. Oh, I just 
anapotamani kufanya biashara yake when someone wants to do the deal lengo lake ni kufaidika his purpose is to gain something na kabla afaidike and if he don't get it anaanda mtaji then he propels something to start sivyo wapendo unaweza unaweza kufanya biashara au una pesa lazima kwanza uandae mtaji ndio ilika katika maisha Mama na Linda, but 
matumaini akisema nitakapoje fungua huyu mtoto nitamtuma kusota maji huyu mtoto hata niuzie gari huyu mtoto hata niuzie nyumba huyu mtoto hata nitunze mama anakuwa na The Spirit of God has shown uh, in the signs of uh, oil. He 
hilo yote ilikuwa nguvu za Mungu this was for the power of ambazo zingali katika siri that was still uh, ambazo zitafunuliwa kwa wanadamu that was not revealed Mungu akajaribu kuzitumia kwa vipindi vya Yesu alipokwenda na Yuda. When Jesus went on the journey. Alipobatizwa na Yohana. When he was baptized with John the Baptist. Ndiye anasema, "Ada the best of the mingun." And there the one came from. Bana bali chuka ronga aki kenda. Ambaye alikaa juu ya Yesu. He came on Jesus. Akishuhudia roho wa Mungu na the Holy Spirit in him. Na akija kwa alama ya Yesu. And he came on the sign of a uh, of a bird. Amen amen. Amen. Na baada ya Mungu kukamilisha kazi zake na Yesu achukue mamlaka. Yeye kumtumia Roho Mtakatifu. Ndio sababu Yesu akaruhusu nitume. Akawaambia, "Ninawapasa. Niwatumie Roho Mtakatifu. Ambaye atakuwa msaidizi. Ambaye atakuwa mwalimu. Ambaye atawafundisha. Ambaye atawafunulia." Je, uko mali kwa? Je, where are you? What kind of place are you? Poka mali ni poka. Yeah, where you are? Kuna wengine wanaikalia uchawi. Yeah, I don't want to see you with. Wengine wanaikalia msalati. Tu as dit que 
Make sure they are filled by his in. Amen, amen. Amen. Hello, my baby. Hello. Hello, young ladies. Si mon amour ne dit combien. Don't you see they are very beautiful. Si ma pente ne dit combien. Are they not looking beautiful? Like in where to talk it. Or where will we get out? Ota puta pa. Then you find the uh, the the food there, whatever. Il est marié, 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 il est Na ipata bien. Tu n'as pas beaucoup à la roue. When you have this fear of God. Mais il faut que tu aies un nom pour parler de la Christ. You must have the word that was the Christ. Ma voici est une petite amie. Our dresses should be pleasing to God. Amen. Amen. Bafit, c'est ma carte. Il n'a pas la carte qu'on doit avoir. Ah, ça vous va. Eh, c'est mon ami au bout. Eh. Il y a 
kwenye furaha again a place where there's happiness hata mioko atanikaribisha kabisa na furaha and you have to welcome me with the happiness kama makanisa yetu yanaribika like if i were to come on na tangia kati uh, the matter is in between mungu anahitaji tutoke mali tulipo god wants us to get away from hizo sadao tuko nazo kwa umezeti all those and be this Na unapongea baba. Na unapongea baba. Naambia hawa, usitishiki na hao. Eh, don't be scared for them. Wanafiao. And those are Kani sasa wanaonesha wanaotoka. They try to show their their world. Lakini ni mbali na watu wa kukimbia baba. And there are people to run also. Fire. Roma sana kwa watu. I is very sad for those kind of people. Baba mmoja. Eh? Our father is you here. Nataka kumamiza. Wa baba mko. Finish with the fathers. Mama vile vile anapenda kumbembeleze wale wako. Ah the mother's like for you to please her. Anapenda kumfanyia kule vitu vizuri vizuri. The good things. Unapomfanyia kule vitu vizuri vizuri. The good things. Moyo wake utakuwa na furaha. Moyo wake utakuwa na amani. Hata jamani akuone kila wakati. Hata jamani akuzungumzishe. Lakini wababu wengi wanatawaliwa na asira. Na hii asira inafanya wa mama wasiwe kuwasogelea baba anaweza ingia ndani ya nyumba anaweza kuta watoto waliachacha kwa sahani pale okay, the kids have left the place there waliacha karatasi pale and the papers are there kuliko alogoti basi so he pick it up apeleke mahali atapiga kipasi kana mweka hii mazani hapa who for the place right here roho wa Mungu ni roho mwingi roho Mungu ni roho kushuka Wapendo. Brothers in Christ. Huyu roho ni ndani mwetu. The Holy Spirit that is in us. Ni mtoto ambaye tunambeba. This is the baby that we have. Tutakapombeba vibaya. When we carry wrong way. Zambi zetu zitakapokuwa nyingi. When our sins get some. Makosa yetu yatakapokuwa nyingi. We have a lot of uh, wrong. Huyu roho atafanana na yule mtoto ambaye amezaliwa mtoto. This Holy Spirit will bless the baby who was born there. Maana ana nafasi tena ya kupanua. So have a place to get a Unajua? Ndio. Kama watoto is wanashewa walikufa wote. Is many kids are kwa sababu walikuwa wametuma. Is because they were walikuwa ni sheta because they were watoto wa zaidi ya miaka 2 the kids walikuwa wanaonekana kama watoto wa mwaka mmoja. Ndio sababu Herod aliposema watoto wote wachana wa wao. Dame dos 
sio hatajini lazima tutengeneze roho you must protect the host the whole being na ukombo wetu ni maisha and uh, the, the, the god who love is our life lazima tuendelee kunyenyekea you must continue to uh, obey calm down na mungu atakuwa pamoja nasi and god will lead us roho wa mungu atajini the whole spirit amen amen roho wa mungu atajini and the, the, the whole spirit and the whole world well. i'm telling Kuna you when they are not put the mahali ambapo watoto wa mungu wanakuzaji come to the children of god to iko siku yako there's a death mambo yatabaki azarani the devil is there and you will not say that we have ekima the wise this are good for ekima we have knowledge lakini kama roho inachoka on the spirit side ila fanya nini what does it in actually it lets it lets go amen 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 unajua yuko mtu aliyeitwa simoni mchao you know that person was called Simon the witch huyu alikuwa mchao He was a witch. He had a rose of a pepper. And he had all the kind of spirits. He had spirits a sense. Rose of the devil. He was a man of the pepper. He was a spirit. Rose of the devil. He was a man of the holy spirit. Akabadilish. Then he was changed. Na alipobadilish. He was changed. Bibi anasema. Kwa sababu akumpa roho na pasi. Because he didn't give the the place in the holy spirit. Halirudi tena kwa jaribu wa kiwe. Maana waliona wamefanya mchezo. Because they saw they did this the aliona wanapoga wa mwanzo. They saw they was doing the same. And the demons of God came to pour their energy into the pesa. And he commanded them to come on via. Because the Bible na fanya hivyo. They told them to give this. You have no place in the kingdom of God. Usi mjaribu roho. Don't tell the Holy Spirit. Na usiseme tunakosa hiki. And those who do not have the knowledge. Amen. 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 Yes, to say Jesus help us. Niko na ongea na mtu. I'm talking to a person ambaye iko na jaribu roho wa Mungu. That is tempting the Holy Spirit. Bwana anasema achie hapo. God says leave it there. Achia hapo. Leave it there. Achia leave it there. Yuko mtu. There's a person ambaye alitaka kumjaribu Paulo. He wanted her to change power. Sikia mpendo nataka nikwambie. Ndani ya utumishi wa Bwana. Ah in the in the ndani ya kingdom of our Christ. In the mother of Christians. Kuna mama Paulo alitamka maneno. Naye akawa kipofu. And then he came out. Roho wa Mungu anapokuwa ndani yetu. When the spirit of God is in us. Yeye ana ukuzi. And he does not have all kind of races and Yeye atagumi. He don't choose. Yeye ana kabila. I don't have a Maana yuko shuka. Na kabila yote ndio sababu walipokuwa wanasubiri roho wa Mungu ndio wa sasa tutampokeaje roho mtakatifu wakati atuende when we na enough bila tupasa tumtafute mtu ambaye ataingia kwa nafasi ya Yuda Like 
lakini kumsufuri roho wa Only God can do. Na hapo palikuwa mtu anaitwa Kristo. And there was a, a, a man named Palikuwa mtu anaitwa Matia. And there was a man named Matthias. Roho wa kati chakulia Matia. The Holy Spirit chose Matthias. Amen, amen. Amen. Kumbe tu acha huo wale ambao wanafaa. So we must leave those who are evil. Kama kazi nyingi za kanisa zinakufa. If many works of God are done. Kama kazi nyingi za kanisa They did all things together. Mambo yao yote ilikuwa kwa pamoja. Everything they did was together. Na yule alitamani kwenda tafauti. And when went to one different and that part of the temple. Ah he he got something uh, not to get. Something wrong. Something bad. Unamjua Anania na Safira? Do you know Anania and Safira? Amen amen. Amen. Wale kuna shambala. Ah they saw the form. Vitu vyote vilikuwa kwa pamoja. Everything was all together. Lakini walijaribu Come on, my touch. If you want, we will go. Come on, my touch. 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 Come on,
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kiwa utalinda moyo wako. Ah ah. Wewe ni upepo uvumayo tu. Lakini ndani yako hamna tunda hata limoja. Ndio maana Yesu wakati alipokuwa anatembea akaona mti mmoja unapendeza sana. Akaambia mitume wafanye nini? Twende tukule tunda kwa ule mti. Wakati alipofika mahala pale akakuta lile akakuta ule mti hauna tunda alifanya jambo gani ndugu zangu tusifanane na mti ambao hauna matunda ndani yake tusifanane na mti ambao hauna matunda ndani yake lazima tuonyeshe matunda ya roho takatifu kwa mataifa maana waliambiwa mtakuwa mashahidi kuonza Yerusalemu mpaka wapi miisho ya dunia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sisi tunataka ndio tunatakiwa tumtangaze yetu katika maisha, tumtangaze Yesu katika maisha yetu yote. Si kwamba tunogewe tu kwenye ibada na kisa ibada mambo mengine yende hivi. Naomba tusimame. Naomba tusimame.
baba watu wanataka kwenye mapumziko baba ili wachiangae kwa ibada ya pili e Yesu Nazareti tunakushukuru kwa yote yale yale ambayo yatendeka tunaomba kwa wale watakaopa kwa muda wa kuingia kwenye ibada ya pili wawezeshe uwe nao baba tunaomba wale wote ambao wanataka wata kuondoka uende nao roho wako mtakatifu awatangulie nao wafuate Yesu roho damu yako Yesu afunike ili waende wapo enda wasike salama asante Yesu tunamshukuru kwa mtumishi wetu aliyetusha neno lako na tunashukuru kwa mwongozo ibada tunashukuru kwa waimbaji wote wale tuimbia nyimbo za sifa na fu- na shukurani Yesu Nazareti tunashukuru kwa wale wote wale chukua muda wao wakafika hapa ndani ya nyumba yangu msikia maneno yako e Yesu Kristo kuna wengi ambao hawakuweza wengi ambao wako huko mitaani wanafanya mambo yao lakini sisi tulifika hapa tunaomba utubariki tunaomba hiyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ufalme wetu amen kwa na wetu Yesu Kristo na pendo la Mungu na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu yamatane nasi sote sasa na hata milele amen